math 6 quarter 2 week 7 milk base let's learn about describing the set of integers and identifying real life situations that make use of it lesson 1 Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about describing the set of integers and identifying real-life situations that make use of it. This is Lesson 1 of Week 7 for Quarter 2. For most essential learning competencies, describe the set of integers and identify real-life situations that make use of it. In this lesson, we will find out the set of integers and identify real-life situations that make use of it. In the number system, we have two categories, namely, real numbers and imaginary number. Integers is classified as real numbers. What is integer? Integer are all natural numbers known as counting numbers. The negatives, opposites, additive inverse, and the number 0 is also included. Integer has no fraction or decimals, like for example, 3 fourth and 265 thousandths. Let's take a look at the number line. 0 is neither negative nor positive. These numbers are negative integer, and these numbers are Positive integer Negative 5 and positive 5 Negative 4 and positive 4 These are opposite numbers On the number line, opposite are the same distance from 0 but on different sides of 0 Additive inverse, property of numbers that if you add opposites, your sum will be 0 For example, negative 4 plus 4 equals 0 and negative 5 plus 5 equals 0. Have some practice. Name a positive or negative number to present its situations. Number 1, a plane climbing to an altitude of 10,000 feet. The answer is, positive number can be presented climbing or rising. This is positive 10,000. Number 2, taking 1,000 pesos out of the bank. The answer is, negative numbers can be presented taking out or withdrawing. The answer is negative 1,000. Number 3, 200 feet below sea level. The answer is, negative numbers can represent values below or less than a certain values or negative 200. Number 4, a hiker climbing to an altitude of 6,000 feet. The answer is, positive numbers can represent climbing or rising. This is positive 6,000. And number 5, spending 5,000 pesos. The answer is, negative numbers can represent losses or decreases or negative 5,000. And now let us proceed to learning task 1. Name a positive or negative integer to represent each situation. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1, saving 25 pesos. What is 25 pesos? Is it positive or negative? Very good! The correct answer is positive 25. Number 2, 6 feet below the ground. What is 6 feet? Is it positive or negative? Very good! The correct answer is negative 6. Number 3, what is the opposite of negative 6? Very good! The correct answer is positive 6. Number 4, when a player to a basketball team shot the ball 
and gain 3 points ahead against their opponent. What is 3 point? Is it positive or negative? Very good! The correct answer is positive 3. Number 5. What is the sum of negative 8 plus 8? Very good! The answer is 0. Learning Task 2 Name a positive or negative integer to represent each situation. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Gained 6% interest from bank deposit. What is 6%? Is it positive or negative? Very good! The correct answer is positive 6. Number 2. What is the sum of negative 3 plus 3? Very good! The correct answer is 0. Number 3. Deo Gracias Lagario paying an amortization amounting 22,300 pesos to the bank from his car loan. What is 22,300 pesos? Is it positive or negative? Very good! The correct answer is negative 22,300. Number 4. David Nathaniel Lagario climbed to the hill with an altitude of 1,000 feet. What is 1,000 feet? Is it positive or negative? Very good! The correct answer is positive 1,000. Number 5. The temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius. What is below 0 degrees Celsius? Is it negative or positive? Very good! The answer is negative degree. Number 6. What is the sum of negative 4 plus 6? Very good! The correct answer is positive 2. Number 7. During pandemic, Mr. Lazo gained his weight from 66 kg to 80 kg. So what is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is positive 14. 80 minus 66 equals positive 14. So Mr. Lazo gained an additional of 14 kg. Number 8. A bodybuilder lost his weight by 2 kg per week. What is 2? Is it positive or negative? Very good! The correct answer is negative 2. Number 9. 25 steps uphill. Is it positive or negative? Very good! The correct answer is positive 25. And number 10. An airplane approaching to the runway descending its altitude by 10 feet per second. What is 10 feet? Is it positive or negative? Very good! The correct answer is negative 10. For learning task 3, arrange the following integers, number 1 to 5 from least to greatest, and number 6 to 10 from greatest to least. Number 1 to 5 is from least to greatest. Number 1, least to greatest is... Negative 7, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 3, 5, 7. Number 2, least to greatest. Negative 5, negative 3, 0, 1, 2, 8, 12. Number 3, least to greatest. Negative 7, negative 6, negative 4, negative 1, 0, 6, 8. Number 4, least to greatest. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 1, 0, 2, 4, 5. Number 5, least to greatest. Negative 6, negative 4, negative 1, 0, 3, 4, 10. Number 6 to 10, greatest to least. Number 6, greatest to least. 8, 6, 1, 0, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Number 7, greatest to least. 12, 11, 4, 1, 0, negative 3, negative 5. Number 8, greatest to least. 8, 5, 2, 0, negative 1, negative 3, negative 7. Number 9, greatest to least. 8, 3, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4, negative 13. 
And number 10, greatest to least, 20, 6, 1, 0, negative 4, negative 23, negative 42. For learning task 4, identify the following expression. Write integers or not integers in the given expression below. Number 1, negative 2 plus 3. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is integer. Number 2, 245 thousands. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is not integer. Number 3, 0. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is integer. Number 4, 1 and 56 thousands. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is not integer. Number 5, negative 3, negative 2 minus 1. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is integer. Number 6, 1 half plus 3 fourth. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is not integer. Number 7, negative 5 over 6. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is not integer. Number 8, negative 6 plus 3. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is integer. Number 9, negative 0 and 325 thousands. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is not integer. And number 10, 2 and 333 thousands. Is it integer or not integer? Very good! The correct answer is not integer. And for learning task 5, arrange and identify the following numbers or expression on its designated column. The integers are negative 3, 0, 5, negative 1, negative 18, negative 10, 9, 2, 5, 8, and 25. Then write them on the first column. So these are the integers. Next, the fractions are 1 half, negative 1 third, 1 seventh, 3 fourth, 5 seventh, negative 1 third, 3 halves, 13 over 6, 4 third, 6 over 7. Then write them on the second column. Next, the decimals are 3 and 1,416 10 thousand. 2 and 1 hundreds. 225 thousands. 1 and 5 tenths. 2 and 3 tenths. 3 and 18 hundreds. Negative 0 and 23 hundreds. 3 and 25 hundreds. Negative 0 and 2 tenths. 13 and 15 hundreds. So write them on the third column. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!